we can easily create abundance for everyone. We will eventually understand that, the most, that most criminals that fill our jails are a result of the need to acquire money and property in an age of often contrived scarcity of the monetary system. Children will look back and wonder why we couldn't see the limitations of this system. Thank you. I'm here to try to help you understand the Venus Project. It's very different than any other system. Many people liken the Venus Project to communism. Communism uses money, military systems, social stratification, armies, navies. We don't have any of that in our system. It's totally different. Now, if you didn't see the video, or if you did see the video, that is not exactly what it would look like. But all cities would be garden cities. Instead of a park here and a park there, the whole city would be immersed in a park. People say, well, who's going to do the dirty work in the Venus Project? Mostly automation. All jobs are boring and uninteresting. When you go to work, you do the same thing every day. You know, you that doesn't enrich you. If a young lady stands behind a counter in a department store, what can I do for you, ma'am? That isn't using her brain. She's selling one product, tangy lipstick, hair lotion, and if she works there for 20 years and then retires, you know what she's got up here, don't you? Nothing. <laughs> and if you type for a corporation for 20 years, all you've got is corporate letters. No school ever teaches you how to find meaning in your own life, how to relate to one another, how to build a better relationship. So we say that all the children and all the people of the future will be brought up to understand the earth, how we relate to nature and one another, not business. Business as usual is cruel. All businesses and banks are phony organizations. They print money, and they borrow money, and they take money that you got in the bank and lend it to other people at interest. And those of you that pretend to be Christians, you're not supposed to lend money at interest. Another thing in the Bible, you're not supposed to judge people. It says, judge not, lest you be judged. You all do jury duty. And there you are sitting there judging people. And some people say to me, you want to make the world a better place. My kingdom is up there. Well, think about it now. You can't make the world a better place unless you understand even the teachings of the Bible. For the Lord's Prayer says, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There's no money, no private ownership, no business. So I'm not talking against religion. Larry King said to me, what do you think of Christianity? I said, it's a wonderful idea. When are they putting it into practice? <laughs> I'm sorry that Christians don't seem to get the message. Even when the Pope comes, if he came to this country, he points to God. When he goes to China, he points the wrong way. China's on the other side of the world. When he goes to Brazil, he points sideways. <laughs> they don't even know the earth is round yet. They still believe in the earth is flat. They don't seem to understand what they read. The Venus Project exploits no one. When a waitress came to me and she said, will I be a waitress in the Venus Project? I said, not at all. Oh, who serves the food? The minute you sit at a table, the menu lights up. So there's a big picture on the table. The menu lights up, and if you, you dial what you want, it scans you. If you're diabetic, it adjusts the food to your condition. That's what I mean by the intelligent use of the world's resources. If you use your best brains in each nation making armies and navies, 
You know those submarines run about a billion dollars a piece, aircraft carriers over two billion dollars a piece, and they do nothing but destroy the earth. Then we have the atom bomb, which everybody's afraid of, but the new cobalt bomb is a thousand times more destructive than the atom bomb. Now we've got enough bombs in America alone destroy the earth 50 times. What can you achieve with that? How stupid can you be? You look up to the Pentagon and you think they're smart people. They are not. They're extremely stupid. They think they're there to defend the country. They made a place for senators to go under a mountain where they have six months food supply. How wonderful. What do you come out to? A burnt out radioactive cinder? Don't you see, I'm trying to tell you something, but you, the world you live in is as full of shit as a Christmas turkey. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that the language you're taught in school is old, that designed hundreds of years ago, and that's why you have difficulty talking to each other. When you say something to somebody, they hear what you say, but it comes out different. And when you open the Holy Bible, somebody said, this is what Jesus meant. No, you're wrong. He meant that. And the third person says, you're both wrong. That's why you're the Lutheran, the Seventh-day Adventist, Adventist, the Catholic, because it's subject to interpretation. Is it possible to develop a language that's not subject to interpretation? We think that mathematics is not subject to interpretation. We think that chemistry is not. When a chemist writes a formula in any country, he doesn't say, I think he meant this, or I think he meant that, otherwise we'd all be dead. <laughs> so here you have engineers, when they talk to each other, they don't say, believe me, this is the strongest material made. They give the torsional strength, compression strength, tension strength to another engineer, so the language is understood. If language was subject to interpretation in engineering, you couldn't build bridges. I think he meant the beam is this time. Oh no, it's that time. So you have all this human stupidity. I do a lecture called the limitless dimensions of human stupidity. <laughs> and it is precisely that. All governments all over the world are corrupt. All the presidents, I'm talking about America, I don't know your country well enough. All the Politicians are extremely stupid individuals. They are lawyers and businessmen. Now here's what I mean by stupid. The cost of World War II, I'm talking about leveling England, blasting the hell out of Germany, there was so much damage and cost so high, 400 ships on the bottom of the sea, loaded with manganese, iron, tungsten, chromium. If you add up the cost of that, it would have been cheaper to go to every nation on earth, build hospitals all over the world, wipe out the slums and poverty all over the world. How stupid can you be to build armaments? And they tell you, well, we're concerned with defending ourselves. Let me tell you something. You go to the airport today, and they x-ray your body, and they x-ray your luggage. I can design sports jackets that give off nerve gas. You understand, there's no way to defend yourself. These people from the Arab world did not have access to armies and navies, so they hijacked airplanes and flew it into the towers. You say, why do they do those terrible things? The government tells you because they resent us. That's not true. In a, in a newspaper article in the Telegraph in London, U.S. ran big headlines, and here's what it said. U.S. intends to nuclear attack seven countries. And says North Korea, China, that's why they're building weapons all over the world. How many of you read that? Not uh, one hand. Okay. This was spread in the, in the telegraph full, released by the Pentagon. If you intended to attack seven different countries, why the hell release it? You're only going to get everybody angry. So if you understood how the Pentagon worked, or how Congress worked, they work with money. If you've got a lot of money, you can put out more ads for yourself. So you see, 
and the drug companies pay off a lot of people. I mean, they really buy them out, so they represent the drug companies. So what do you have in Washington? A bunch of opportunists. Some guy that I met years ago came up to me and he said, Jock, I'm running for political office. I said, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. <laughs> Politicians, let me say this slowly so you don't misunderstand, don't know a fucking thing. <laughs> Politicians are opportunists. They're lawyers and businessmen. If you don't take my word for anything, ask any politician, how would you prevent cars from hitting each other? I don't know. How can you increase the agricultural yield? I don't know. Well, how can you prevent buildings from burning down? They don't even know that. And education, they know nothing about. So what the, are they there for? Politics was great a hundred years ago. But today, it's not the way to run the country. When you fly in any airliner today, you don't have to write the pilot and say, you've been flying at an angle for a half hour straight now. He knows his business. You don't have to write the navigator and says, I thought we're going to Hawaii. I see icebergs out there. Huh. You know what happened? Because the navigator knows his business. When a man builds a bridge or a group of people work on a bridge, they know their business. When they tell you you live in a democracy, that's the biggest lie. Yes. Let me tell you what a democracy would be like. Our president or representative of the people would get up and criticize another country, say, for an hour. When the president's through, we invite the prime minister of that country that he criticized to give his point of view, if you really believe in democracy. And then we invite the prime minister of Sweden, which is they're both full of shit. That's all the democracy. We have every point of view on the air. And on Sunday, you got religion. But you should have the world's religions, what different people believe and what some people don't believe. And the people that reject religion. And that's a democracy. But if you just got religion on the air on Sunday, it's called controlled media. And most media is controlled all over the world, unfortunately. So if you really want a better world, a world without war, poverty, hunger, military expenditures, and the protection of the environment, you need the application of a scientific method. Not scientists, they're just as dumb as everybody else in politics. The reason is that they make bombers, <coughs> they make bombers to make money. That war has always been big business. Did you know that? If you don't understand that, let's take this young man. If the government drafts you to put your life up for this country, they should grab, grab all the war industries so no one makes a buck out of it. You understand what I'm saying? If the war is real, there should be no profit in it. Because he, if he puts his life up for this country, all the industries should be conscripted. Jeeps, airplanes, everything. And if no one made a buck out of war, I can assure you there wouldn't be any wars. So, you have to understand what I'm saying, that the world we live in is a fraudulent world. All countries are corrupt. There's no place on earth where it doesn't exist. Now, when you leave here, if you identify with what I'm talking about, if you don't talk to other people about it, there will be no future for humankind. The rate we're lousing up the environment, the oceans, the air you breathe, 